What's up, good people? Just kidding. That's my Snapchat intro, but hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video, I'm, I'm a little nervous about this video, but first let me just say that when I'm all done with this tutorial, I will have the tutorial in another video. This video is on this Wet n Wild foundation, and I've been talking about it on Snapchat and on YouTube for a long time. And Man, I got to tell y'all about this whole little situation. I'm a little nervous because neither one of these babies are my exact match. So I'm going to try to mix them and mix my perfect color, which I'm like, should I do this when like my eyes are kind of banging? But I got to get it over with because I know y'all been waiting for a minute and I've been waiting to test it out. But let me give you a little background on what happened. Like, yeah. Okay. This foundation is called the Wet n Wild photo focus foundation. This shade is in cocoa and this shade is in espresso. And don't pay no attention to that sticker. Like Walgreens, like they own one. I mean, they need to stop doing that. They need to find another way. Like put it at the bottom or something, just saying. But anyway, so when I first heard about this foundation, of course it was not in any drugstores. Like I couldn't find it anywhere. So I purchased it online from Wet n Wild themselves. And I figured that espresso would be fine because usually when you see colors on the internet, it's a little bit lighter than what it is or what it appears to be, right? Mm -mm. This is darker than my skin tone, as you guys can see. So then I went to Walgreens, which I promise you guys, if you follow me on Snapchat, I went to Walgreens, I went to CVS, I went to Rite Aid, I went, I went to a bunch of different stores trying to find my exact shade. I was looking for the color mocha or toffee or something. All I could find was cocoa. Cocoa, I never go for cocoa because cocoa always has more red in it than my skin does. But this is the only shade that I could find, okay? I just figured, let's just get it over with. Let's just try it and see how it works. And if I like this $6 foundation after testing it out and rocking it throughout the day, which I'm gonna share with you guys, then I will proceed to purchase mocha or toffee or whatever. So when wow, if you hear me, if you hear me, please put more colors. Oh, and let me tell you that too. So when I would go to the stores, I would find it in drugstores, but it would stop at like caramel, caramel, caramel. It would stop there. And then all the shades were really, really light. So I'm like, seriously, like, are you kidding me right now? So it's really hard to find the deeper shades. So anyway, Let's move on. I've already primed my face with the Bye Bye Pores Primer. Y'all know I love it. Like you can see, it's almost gone. Well, halfway gone. I don't know y'all. Like why do these companies always make me have to turn into a chemist? And it has one ounce, one fluid ounce, just like, you know, most foundations do. And it has like a spatula, which is pretty cool, okay? That's what the spatula looks like. Let me do it like that. There you go. Now this shade Espresso, y'all, it is really orange, girl. I will put like some of the shades of foundation that I use because I know that it's helpful when you're watching people do these type of videos. So I'll let you know. Y'all, I totally forgot to correct my face first and I always correct my face. So just in case you guys are wondering, like why do you correct your face if you're gonna do a foundation review? Because this is the way that I do my foundation. My corrector, it helps me with my hyperpigmentation. And plus, I don't even think this claims to be full coverage, but but I'll give you the specs later. But I was thinking, can I rock the cocoa by itself, right? And then I'm like, oh, maybe, because you know that I'm a little lighter down here. But I don't think so, because I think that's gonna give me a cast. Now I do have a correction technique that I use for under my eyes, and I will link that in this video, but like, we're gonna toss that out the door today because I'm kinda, I don't wanna say I'm in a hurry, but that's an extra step, and I'm not trying to do that extra step today. Now, <laughs> Like, I'm totally talking while I have corrector on. Le actually, let me blend that baby out. What is going on in my life today? I do have the concealer and I have the powder. Now, I've already tried the powder and the powder is definitely not like my exact match. So knowing that the foundation is not my match, I do not want to do the foundation and the powder together. So I'm going to try something that I know works for sure. And this is the bomb. What is it called? The bomb photo bomb powder foundation. And this is in the shade dark. And I love this stuff almost as much as I love my BH Cosmetics powder. This stuff is pretty bomb. Get it? The bomb, bomb. And some of you guys told me that you actually wanted a one brand makeup tutorial with Wet n Wild. If you still want that, let your girl know and I will try to make that happen for you. Ooh, do y'all see that? How dark that is? Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this with my little spatula 
and see what I come up with. I can't stand when foundations are a little too orange or red. <sighs> I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna work it out. I'm going to work it out. Now, you guys, I also have this L'Oreal sponge that I love oh so much, but look what I did to it. Can y'all believe that? I don't know if it was from washing it or if it just kind of wears down. Let me know if yours is still lasting if you have it. Oh, I like the way it feels though. It feels good. Like it really blends in. I think we're going to make it work. That blends real good. Oh my gosh. I feel like you have to blend it pretty quickly because it starts to dry. So hopefully that's a good thing because when foundations do that, they tend to last and I like that. So um, because my battery wants to be disrespectful, I'm gonna change my battery and then we're gonna proceed with the concealer. But hey, it ain't too shabby y'all, even with the mixing. It's wet and wild. Okay, I just need you to get it in storage, just saying. And we got action, baby, action. So let's go on with this concealer. Now I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this thing now. So this is in medium deep, okay? Or medium deep tan, I should say. And that is what that looks like. So I think I'm gonna set it with my RCMA powder. So I'm gonna show you guys the application of this. I will show you, you know, the look when it's finalized because I'm gonna do the rest of the look for the makeup tutorial, okay? I think I wore this once before, but I don't remember what it did for me. Let's see, y'all. Oh, wow. I mean, I probably could stand to use to have a darker color. Like, seriously. And you guys know I have lines under my eyes and I have a little situation I've been trying to battle, like with the creasing, and I have a new technique that I did not do today. So as we proceed with this video, if you see creasing, let's not blame it all on Wet n Wild, okay? But I think that I could have used a darker color, just a little bit, but I love the yellow in here. I like how it's kind of golden, you know what I mean? That's a plus, that's a gold star. That blends good too. Whoa, 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 that's bright, whoa. I really didn't mean to go way down there with it. Like, I just have to, I put too much concealer sometimes, so, you know. Like, it really spreads, oh my gosh. It, a little goes a long way, that's what I will say. And let's take this RCMA powder and set this baby. Whoa. Yeah, I could stand to have that concealer just a little deeper. As I told you, I am gonna use my The Bomb Powder, and this is how you fix that. Like, you see how this is like way bright, way down here? That was not intentional, okay? So I'm gonna fix that by just taking my powder and just going over that, like that. Girl, don't be afraid to dab on it. No, I'm just kidding. So this is the final look, you guys, and it's very, very springy, right? Like orange you ready for spring? Orange you? <laughs> Get it? I'm gonna take you around. Like I'm not doing a whole lot today, but I'm still gonna use my other camera because I like to let you guys see how it looks outside in the daylight. And I like to check in with you guys. Oh my God, I used the setting spray. <gasps> I totally forgot not to use a setting spray. But anyways, that's how we get down. Like that's the real deal holy field. So yeah, whatever. But listen, look at this concealer. It's creasing a little bit, but I'm not gonna totally blame it on the concealer because look at my lips. I've had this makeup on or this lipstick on for about an hour and a half as well, this lipstick. And this is a cream lipstick and Honestly, my lips are looking a little bit like cracky, chappy. I don't even know how I want to describe it. I brought my little Slurpee cup along with me today because I want to make sure that I get water because I could tell I was getting a little bit dehydrated and I think that's what's going on with my creasing and that is definitely what's going on with my lips. We are in Bed Bath & Beyond and um, I looked for my aqua for my purse and I thought it wasn't in there and I was about to say abort, abort, abort mission because I don't leave the house without my aqua for. But anyway, we're in Bed Bath & Beyond and my Bed Bath & Beyond, ugh, my Bed Bath & Beyond carries cosmetics and they always get it first, but I actually came in here for a brow pencil. So I usually, like I have on the LA Girl um, brow pencil right now, but like I don't have time to order online and get it. I need a brow pencil like right now. And I know that the NYX works really good, the micro brow. So that's what I'm here to get. These are the brow pencils and they're pretty good, but the chocolate one, I usually have to mix it with the ColourPop because it's a little too light. So maybe I should try espresso because that's all they have. Oh my gosh, they have the Elf Foundation, y'all. I always end up trying another foundation while I'm doing a foundation review. Is that crazy or what? But I don't think they have my shade. 
Like what the heck? Okay, so abort that mission too. But I wanted to show you guys where I get my containers from that I use for my face care. Here we go. So these are the ones. These are called the Harman Face Values Pump Bottle. And this is what I use for my grapeseed oil. And I use that, sorry, I got stuff in my hand. But I actually use this for my grapeseed oil and I use that to take off my makeup. For my face scrub, I use this right here. And this is $1.99 and it is called, um, it's face values as well, but it is called the three ounce leak proof jar. There we go. And I use this for my face scrub, which is grapeseed oil and brown sugar and I keep it in the shower. It never fails. Every time I come inside the store, I keep my Bed Bath & Beyond coupons inside the car because they never expire. And every time I come in here, I end up having to run back in the car to go get it. This is probably healthier than fries, right? Let's roll. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys the time when I was inside of the store, but I've had the foundation on like three hours and I did set it with the spray and I didn't realize it till after I did it, but it is looking real good. I have not touched my makeup in one while. You got me feeling like, you know, like hunting down my actual color, just saying. So I am back you guys, and I'm here to wrap up this video about this foundation. But I'm happy to say that I've had this foundation on for almost seven hours. I told y'all I was gonna try to make like at minimum six, and we have surpassed that, honey. This foundation claims that you will have no flashbacks. So let go. Oh my gosh, it looks good. So. Here we are up close and personal, all up in your grill, all right? But look right here, like, I mean, I really don't have to blot that much. Like, you see that? It is not bad at all, y'all. This is $6, $6, not bad, even if it wasn't. But I don't really have to blot, my nose is not glistening. I don't feel like I could fry chicken on my face. Like, everything is great, except for, you know, the lines. But I told you guys, it is totally not just the concealer. And so before we close out this video, I told you guys that I was gonna give you the specs. So I'm looking down, I don't have my phone today. I actually have my computer, my handy dandy computer. I forgot to blot because not that I really have to, but you know how we do when we do these videos. Because this looks so good and I'm really, really impressed with it, I am going to go on the hunt for the toffee or the, I think it's mocha. They have 20 shades and what the website says, this foundation is your skin only better. Our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. So I will have the link to the foundation in the description box so you can check out the ingredients if you kind of like to check out ingredients on foundations. But listen y'all, this foundation, this foundation, it gets two thumbs up from me. But I will tell you guys, the concealer that I have, which is medium tan or medium deep, I think it is, I want the deepest one because I feel like this is really, really brightening and I wouldn't wanna do this all the time. And that is it for this video, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for running around the town with me on today. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Keep you me. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. See, key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.